welcome to the homestead. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead. Well, we've got a little bit of a different type of video tonight. Um, we are going to cook up something that we didn't ever think we'd eat, but we're going to try it because all of the locals around here have been telling us how good this is. Now, we did a little bit of research and everything that we read says that this is poisonous and that you probably shouldn't eat it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this right here. Pokeweed. Now, we've even read that you're not supposed to feed it to your animals. You're not supposed to uh, really even handle it. But I can tell you, everybody that we've talked to says that all of the old timers, all the locals, they love it. They, they cook it like greens. They have a specific way that, that they do it. And supposedly when you're done, it's no longer poisonous. This right here is a pokeweed plant. People around here call it poke. And uh, they harvest it and cook it like greens, like you would like collard greens and stuff. The funny thing is, is I have a book about raising goats. And it basically says, you know, oh, goats can eat pretty much anything, but there are a few things that are poisonous to them. And one of them is poke, pokeweed. It actually says that all parts of the plant are poisonous to humans as well. But I swear I've asked like 20 or 25 people around here about pokeweed and they love to eat it and they're all living. So who knows what that's all about, but this is poke. I don't let my goats eat it. Apparently if this many people are eating it and not dying, it can't be that bad. So we're going to give it a try. This is actually going, uh, I just want to give a little shout out to our pastor. Uh, he's the one who actually picked these pokeweeds for us. He is always telling us how much his mom loves to eat pokeweeds. So we are going to, uh, we're going to try it and we're going to do it on video. And if we're so sick that we don't make it to church on Sunday, it's all your fault, Josh. So I'm going to get busy. I did a little research online about exactly how to do it. Uh, we need to take the leaves and take the stems, all the stems out, so you have just the leaves. Uh, then boil it in a, in a pot of water for 20 minutes. Drain the water, put the leaves back in, boil them again for another 20 minutes. Drain the water, do that three or four times until they're really cooked down. Uh, then after that, you drain them really well and you fry them in some bacon grease. And then you eat them and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get busy cooking them up and I will let you see them uh, when we get ready to rinse them. Okay, so I've uh, boiled up my greens here. They've turned into this. I don't know. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or not, but uh, they've turned into just kind of a small pile of mush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry it in just a little bit of coconut oil in a cast iron skillet and cook it up and add some salt and then I guess we'll give it a try. So I'll get that going. I don't really think it was supposed to get this mushy, but I think I probably... I think one of two things, I either boiled it too long or maybe I wasn't supposed to take all the little veins out of the leaves, like the part that goes down the middle of the leaf, I took that out, so I'm just kind of have the outside of the leaves. So I'm not really sure, but what the heck. I boiled it three times for 20 minutes each time and then dump, dumped out the water, ran cold water over it, and then boiled it again. So Now, I don't suggest you try this unless you do your own research about it. 
I did quite a bit of reading, and to be honest, it's pretty frightening what you find out. But what I just keep telling myself is there's a whole lot of people who eat it and they're not dying from it, so it can't be that bad. I don't plan on making it part of my daily diet. This is probably a one-time thing, unless I really like it. I do like greens. I guess my question to people would be, like we have, we're growing turnips and, and collards and so we have all these greens in the garden that won't kill you. What, why go to all this work to eat this green when you can just eat one of those other greens that isn't poisonous? I don't know how much I'm supposed to fry this either, so I think that's probably good. Gravel plate. This is probably the worst poke ever made. But I did promise him we'd try it. Sarah, are you gonna try some? No way. We need to have one parent alive for our children and to feed the animals. And I planted a big garden, and by golly, I'm harvesting that sucker. <laughs> What's it smell like? Doesn't, doesn't smell like anything, honestly. Would have been better if I would have fried it in bacon fat, I'm sure, but I didn't have any handy, so coconut oil it is. Pretty good. Very mild as far as greens go. Yeah, it's very mild. Hey, I think it's actually pretty good. We have a ton of it know, right on our property. But I think I'll eat this and then we'll see. <laughs> If I die by morning and we'll go from there well there you go poke salad I don't know if I did it right I hope I did I hope I at least did it right enough that I don't die but um, I'm gonna finish it up I think it's pretty good um, if you have a family recipe if you know people who eat this stuff and you have a certain way of doing it, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if, if it freaks you out and you would never do it in a million years, leave that in the comments. I want to hear about that too. So I think I'm probably the only one in this house who's going to eat this, but it's really not that bad. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You know, we're just figuring all this country living stuff out as we go. So uh, I think this one's a winner. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and until next time, God bless. Hey, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead today. We do truly appreciate every one of you for wanting to be part of our lives. Uh, we're now going to be putting out five new videos every week, Monday through Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time back on the homestead. God bless.